Hello, yet again, what, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, watchers of all ages. Um, welcome to another exciting episode of Demi Kun Plays. We are still going on Everlasting Summer. So far, it's an interesting game. I have no real idea what's going on. I just know I'm at a camp. And I get to make very few choices, but I know whatever I choose makes a big difference. And I just had a mildly romantic dinner with Silva. And uh, I apparently owe some very violent girl too. So, I'm scared. But let's go on. <clears throat> Sudden desire to follow Silva's advice and go to the camp leader's cabin has appeared. I don't know why, but the look of the unknown bronze builder of communism put me in a constructive mood. I sat on the bench and started to recall everything that happened today. That my, that was all my constructive mood could offer. Here was a much brighter, was much brighter than near the canteen. The belated pioneers were running by, so this place didn't seem scary at all. Bus, summer camp, girls. I was so tired from everything new and strange that could not come. Uh, that could not come up with a single explanation of what was going on. I heard a barely noticeable rustle nearby. I shivered looking in that direction. Girl? Reading a book? Nina. I decided to come closer and talk. She was the only person I met here without ever having a few words chat. Nina was so surprised that she even jumped up. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Never mind. She blushed and stared up into the book again. So what are you reading? On the cover was written by God with the Wind. Praise the book. Good book. Thanks. Honestly speaking, I haven't read it, but... Literature suits her very well. It doesn't seem to be interesting to change the talk. Well, if I'm bothering you, she answered while still looking at the book. Can I sit aside for one? Why? And really, why? Maybe just because I was getting very tired with the company. I was very tired. After such an intensive talk, staying here was the least I was the last thing I wanted. But it would be nice to just stand up and leave. Didn't really go well, huh? We need to have to have answered anything. I seem to be I seem to it seems I made a fool out of myself. I bet if Lil's here she would give me a good laugh. Do you enjoy being here? I called Silva's question and thought it was a good start for the conversation. Yes. She slightly smiled. I guess I like it too. Nina definitely isn't very social and probably can't support the meaningless conversation as easy as Silva. But there is something in her that attracted the attention. Like a momentary sight or reflective or reflection in her glasses at a rating on an evening, which makes you turn around and stare into the darkness searching for something. Saw the corner of your eye. Of course, you weren't able to distinguish or understand what it was, but you still felt it still felt so tempting. Lena was still reading the book without paying any attention to my present, and I had no intention at all to ask her anything about this camp or this world in general. Beautiful night. Yes. How in the world do you start a conversation? Started to put together. 
nothing like a good time with nothing to do. I headed towards Olga's cabin. The lights, the lights in the house were on. Oh, hello, Seaman. You're quite late. Yeah, I went for a walk. Uh, I went to, I went for a walk to look around the camp. All right. I get a bit surprised. Yeah, is something wrong? We're out of free cabins anyway. The camp leader smiled, but I'd rather think it was a smile of politeness. You do want to be a decent pioneer, don't you? There is a clean emphasis on the decent. Yep. Sure. I got lost in thought for a moment. after today. Something hammered in my head awfully as if my brain was starting a night shift and there seemed to be aiming more and they seemed to be aimed more at the rolling of still than working with something more sensitive. The bus flew through my mind and the square and the monument. Canteen full of pioneers and the malicious face of Ula Silva Lena and even recalling Eliso has given me much of an hasn't given me much of a negative feeling. What if I'm here for good? Day two all right. All right. So I am going to end the episode here. Uh, there will be more to come. Thank you for watching, and thank you so much. Oh, um, something I wanted to thank you all. After almost eleven months, I finally made it over a hundred views. And that actually means quite a bit to me because I was actually starting to think about just deleting the channel because I was making no progress. So I am over 100 views. I've got like 12 subscribers. And you know what? That is a victory to me. It's a start. And you know what? And it's all thanks to you guys. So thank you so very much. Stay frosty and have a wonderful day.